Seems like you gotta do these things to prove that you're not AI. The remove tool has been incredible. It does things that were impossible before. Right from removing complex stuff that involves perspective to removing a bunch of distracting people at once and removing impossible wires and cables. But it has one major flaw. Let us check it out and also we have some good news for you. With the remove tool selected right here, let's say you had generative AI turned on or auto. Don't worry, there's some good news about this. Now say you wanted to remove this cup. So I'm gonna loop around it like so. Do not forget the shadow. Give it a little bit of time and instead of removing the cup, it created a new one. Let's try to remove this one more time. So we are going to loop around it. Let's not forget the shadow. Give it another chance and now we have some soy sauce. Why don't we give it one more chance? To err is human and to err more is AI. Still the same problem, a little bit dirtier soy sauce. So how do we fix this issue? The answer is we don't, let Adobe do that. So in the latest version of Photoshop beta, there has been some changes, some exciting ones to the remove tool. First of all, to install Photoshop beta, open up your Creative Cloud desktop app inside of apps, click on beta at the top and from here you can install Photoshop beta. Keep in mind Photoshop beta is a different application from the main version of Photoshop. Once you have opened that, let us try the same thing. With the remove tool selected, generative AI turned on, I'm gonna loop the cup again, like so. Let us not forget the shadows and let it be. And this time, it fixes it beautifully. If there are some additional artifacts like in here, we can circle them again. And those are fixed too. So here is the overall before, here's the after, pretty good. Now there are some minor corrections that we may need to do, but this is a massive improvement. Now coming to the good news, not the best news, let's save it for later. For right now, there's a new update in the remove tool. We wished we had the technology of the remove tool with a selection, and we didn't. Let's say you wanted to remove this guy. What would you do with the remove tool? You would have to loop around it manually. Even when Photoshop has features to automatically select the subject, we would have to manually do this, and this is such a pain in the neck. All you need to do now is to make a selection, and you can automatically do that with the brand new object selection tool. It automatically selects the people. So you can click on the select people button. You can either select this person or that person. Let's click on that person. I wanna select the entire person, not certain body parts. Click on apply. Now that we have a selection, Let's expand it a bit so that we give AI some space. So let's go to select, modify and expand. Let's make it 40 pixels here, hit okay. Now you can manually go in and get into as many details as you want. For example, you can select the lasso tool here and let's say some hair particles were not covered. So you can hold the shift key and add to it. Similarly, hold the shift key, it turns into lasso plus, add to all of this. See if there are some additional areas. We didn't want to cover that. So hold the Alt key or the Option key to turn it into Lasso minus and you can subtract all of those areas like so. Similarly, let's subtract this particular area. I'm probably going to leave it at that and let us not forget the shadow. Hold the Shift key and let's add the shadow of the guy too. All right, now that we have it, how do we use the same technology that is there in the Remove tool? Easy, just open up the contextual taskbar. You can either go to Window and Click here, contextual taskbar, or right click outside the canvas and click on show contextual taskbar. Inside of that, you'll notice a brand new button called remove. It uses the exact same tech as in the remove tool. Let's click on that. You'll notice the same dialog box, same processing stuff is going to show up. Give it a little bit of time and there you go. She's single again. And that's the good news. Just kidding. If you zoom in, you'll notice certain issues. No worries. You can again make a selection around them and click on the remove button or directly use the remove tool, up to you. So here's the before and here is the after. This is pretty clean and she is at the center stage. So the actual good news here is that now you can use the same remove tool technology with a selection, any selection for that matter. Now coming to the real good news and I wanted to share that with you with an example. You might wonder why do I have the Adobe homepage open? Let us take a look at my generative credits. If I open up my account, you'll notice that I have 1444 credits left. Now watch this. Back in Photoshop, here we have a photo bomb. We are going to go back to the remove tool and try to remove her with generative AI turned on. So let's loop around her, give it some time. And as you can see, it does a perfectly incredible job. Here's the before, here's the after. Now watch this. If I go back to my Adobe account and open this again, see it's refreshing, the same amount of credits left. 
So there has been this change. I don't know how long Adobe is going to keep this, but this has been an official post. So if you open up the official Photoshop beta forum, inside of that, you open up this post. By the way, big shout out to Meredith Payne Stotzner. She was behind a lot of features inside of Photoshop. If you scroll down, you will notice neither the remove tool or the remove button utilize generative credits. And that is the best news I have read from Adobe at least recently. So it's crazy that you can use the generative technology unlimited. Again, I don't know how long Adobe is going to keep this up, but no matter how complex it is, let's say you wanted to remove people here with generative AI turned on. I'm going to click on find distractions, people, and it does a fantastic job of recognizing all the people. Hit enter or return. Give it some time since this is a bit complex and it's all beautifully gone. Here is the before and here is the after. We might need certain corrections, but apart from that, this is pretty good. And if we check our credits again, as you can see, it's refreshing and no more credits are used. So I hope you like the best news, the good news and the new changes to the remove tool. Photoshop is changing all the time. And if you want to master Photoshop in 2025 and beyond from start to finish and beyond, definitely check out Piximperfect Pro. We always keep it updated with the new tools, techniques and just about everything Photoshop. There are more than 100 lessons where we learn by doing and we focus on mastering the concepts so you never have to memorize the steps. To check out the latest offers on Piximperfect Pro only for Piximperfect viewers, check the link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. What can I do?